Welcome to This Week in Astronomy, brought to you by Celestron, the world's leading manufacturer of telescopes. I'm Dave Eicher, editor of Astronomy Magazine. This week we have a big observational event of the year, the Geminid meteor shower, one of the good ones, so-called because the meteors appear to come from the constellation Gemini. So with a meteor shower, you don't need to do anything special, just get out there away from city lights to a reasonably dark sky and look up. You don't need any optical aid at all. The peak of this shower is the evening of December 14th into the 15th. You can see some meteors though, several days either side of the peak. And fortunately, the moon is essentially out of the way this year. It's just after new moon, so it won't really interfere. And as with any meteor shower, the best hours to observe are after midnight till about 4 a.m. That's when the leading edge of Earth turns into the meteor storm. You never know what you're going to see with a meteor shower. This one originates not from a comet, as most do, but from an asteroid, 3200 Phaethon. So you never quite know what the meteor stream is is going to be there. Keep your eyes peeled, get out into a dark sky, and you may see as many as 120 meteors per hour. The Geminids, one of the great meteor showers of the year. No optical aid is required here. Get out away from city lights to a dark sky. Look straight up. If you can be out there between midnight and four, those are the best hours. Enjoy some great meteor viewing and let us know what you see at Astronomy Magazine. Good luck and we'll see you next time.